They say sport teaches you about character and life. For one group of local primary school students, they were given the chance to experience those benefits firsthand. Partnering with the Hawthorne Football Club and the Outback Academy Australia Red Dust Healers, the South East Melbourne Phoenix held a para-abled clinic at the State Basketball Centre to celebrate ability, diversity and inclusion through the game. The Red Dust Healers are a group of people with and without disabilities, Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal, men, women, young, old, from all different backgrounds all across Australia who are just committed to the inclusion of people with disabilities in all areas of life. Today is really exciting. It's one of the, it's our first event in partnership with Phoenix Basketball. We'll be running wheelchair basketball clinic, uh, wheelchair AFL and of course stand-up basketball as well, all together, all on an equal playing field uh, just celebrating each other for who we are. Having risen through the ranks of Australian basketball, Phoenix recruit Dane Pino understands the need to play a team sport and the impact it can have on an individual. Sport in general just I think is really important in uh, kids of, of all ages and all capabilities to just to be a part of because it teaches you so many different things, how to work hard and how to work together but most importantly just sort of the relationships you can um, that they grow in playing sport and working together. For Red Dust Healers player Ben, joining the NWBL team was the perfect outlet following his life-changing accident two years ago. I've been into motocross or any motorsport since I was little. Unfortunately in 2017 I had an accident um, which made me a T4 paraplegic. Motorsports was, yeah, every day did it and it's always been a massive part so to lose it was, was big, but one day I come down and try and yeah, fell in love with it and found this family and it's made my whole injury so much easier to deal with. Teenage teammate Kaya was born with a club foot and feels included when she hits the court with her teammates. The thing that makes me happy is that I'm with people that have the same disability or have disability that's related to mine. They make me feel like I can do more things because when I was younger um, I kept saying to mum, I want to be like the other kids. And while Phoenix forward Dan Trist normally has little trouble scoring in matches, no! he couldn't quite find his range once he got in the chair. So I was talking to, uh, talking to a couple of the boys before and they were just um, you know, describing to me the point system in wheelchair basketball, you know, the, the similarities between wheelchair and regular basketball uh, in terms of screening and, and, uh, and post-ups and just ways to gain an advantage over your opponent. There's so many aspects of wheelchair basketball that are harder. You know, like, I don't think I can hit a three-pointer in wheelchair basketball. Like, I, you know, hat off to them for doing it. While the Phoenix would hope Tris can have a long future at South East Melbourne, the 26-year-old is keen to work on his wheelchair game on the side. I think I could definitely get into playing some wheelchair basketball with some mates. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm actually keen to give it a go, to be honest. Mitch Jones for Phoenix Media.